Whoa. Wait a minute. This is so my kind of event. It's potions and it's witches. No, you were you were making me so- Oh, it's a pole arm. You're back to making me sad. Potions, Sela. I'm in need of your strongest potions. Give them to me now. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another- Welcome back to another- Damn it. Really, something has to interrupt me every time. But now the sun's not covering my face anymore. Everything's going bad. Hey everybody, welcome back to another event quest video. This is very on theme for me because it's about potions and I love potions and I love wizards and it has Lisa, it has Jean, it's back to Mondstadt. I, I think it's a perfect little back to the roots kind of thing, even though that's more Sumeru thematic, you get what I mean. I think the art looks beautiful as well. Our chemical ascension, one day and 13 hours remaining, we need to hurry. The Knights of Favonius are currently coming up with long-term plans to promote the achievements of alchemy. The person in charge, Lisa, seems to have a good idea and has invited you and Paimon to assist. 96, that's funny because it's 69 backwards, haha. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. Guys, quit being silly, you're being silly. I almost forgot to do a Pokemon pack. Here we go. We got a Murkrow, a little... Oh my god, it's so on theme. It's a it's a wizard bird hat. A magic Mistrevis, a sneaky Sneasel, <laughs> a kissy Gothita, <laughs> Crocolore. Dude, that's like Focolore, but then Crocolore. Pelipper, I don't have a reference to that one. It looks pretty Fontaine though. Fletchinder, that's just a bird, bro. I don't know what to say. Palmo, I got this. This one's very cute. I got a shiny one on this on my first playthrough, the new one. I know no one cares, but now you know. Hydreigon, no way. We got this one like last pack. Never ever lucky. And Garnacle. <laughs> it's just, it's honestly literally a salt golem. <laughs> <laughs> Which I hope I won't be during this video. There's no way. It's a little story event. And finally, a basic... I don't even know what kind of energy this is. Energy of evil demons and devils. Little horns, that's what they look like. Alright, now, let's get potion making. Hope you enjoy. Oh, one more thing. If you want to watch the gameplay part as well, I left an uncut version in the description and the pinned comment. So, if you want to see that, feel free. Alright, enjoy. I was taking the scenic walk but uh maybe i should just climb a wall yeah i'm climbing a wall <laughs> why did you not have made stairs here who architected monstat i'm not happy i'm talking about it next nice meeting enter knights of Vodius headquarters hey lise knock knock lise hello it's been so long hello cuties oh, just say you, cutie. wow to what do I stop the honor of your visit dude you being you is plenty for me to just visit, Lise. Come on. Are you here to peruse the library? Yep. Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone. We're here to see you, of course. <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Come on. Alas, what rotten luck. Again. You just so happened to have caught me in the middle of some important work. <sighs> when? I'll have when to treat not? you to afternoon tea some other time. Yeah, you're never doing that. You keep teasing. That's all you do. You're just one big tease. Wait, you're actually busy? No. With work? That's not a sight you see every day. Pamela, you don't understand. She can't talk. She's doing really important business always. <laughs> You're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I did bring that fit of yours. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. <laughs> It's rather exhausting. Are you writing a thesis or working on a research project? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? You're gonna make me do all your work again! What do you say? No! Wanna help me relive my days as a scholar? <laughs> Stop hinting at things! <laughs> it's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know! Uh-huh. Is that a no, then? It will be it's quite a, no. a rare opportunity to work together. Lise, it's a and no. And you would, of course, be generously rewarded. Oh? But if you don't want to... I guess I'll go find someone else. <laughs> I guess I'll go find that one rival of yours. That guy you very much dislike. Pallet or something. <laughs> Let's hear the deeds, Lise. As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. Of course. But most of that research is carried out in a laboratory setting. Being one of the... The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. So true. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. Mm -hmm. We've put a lot of mora into the research, yeah. but have very little to show for our efforts. That's what it is usually. But the breakthrough is going to happen soon, guys. You know, you, it, the... You lose the you, uh, ninety percent of researchers stop before they hit the jackpot. Noting this disconnect, uh -huh. Jean decided to start an initiative where okay. we share the fruits of our labor with the people. Nice. For now, 
that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. Okay, that sounds cool. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Because you're a witch. Even though I usually work at the library, mm -hmm. I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Right. Potioneering was also one of my academic specialists. I'd love back this. Day. So Jean thought I was the best person for the job. I agree. Potioneering sounds so cool. I want to be a potioneer. But to create po potions potion maker. to support the daily potion needs setup. of the people, <laughs> a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use. Uh -huh. And the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. Right. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. Man, what, what a shame. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Yes. Because, uh, what? you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. Let her talk for herself. I made plenty of potions, and I do crazy things with, like, frog legs and all that. <laughs> no worries. That's what France does to you. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Ah, you go run errands, huh? Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced. Uh -huh. But there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. Okay. What we really need is to collect feedback from Oh, people. no, no, not Otherwise, this. Otherwise, we won't truly no. know for satisfying their needs. No, don't make me do this. End of your studies moment where you need to make... What is it called? But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, yeah. we need to go about things in a more efficient way. Can I do research, please? So, I thought the best way to please. do that would be to open up a potion shop. Oh, actually, a potion shop. That way, salad. we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Potion seller, I'm going into battle. <laughs> and I need your strongest potions. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone! Pigeons? Not ideal, Lisa. That's just birds. Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the no, most accomplished stop, among our stop. ranks? Stop. The traveler. Honorary Knight of Mondstadt at your service. Ah, oh, she swindled me again. That's it. She just inflated my ego. I can feel it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, I'm accepting. When I was at the academia, mm -hmm. students would often help out with each other's research projects. That's so great. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Lise, I bet I'm like six billion years old. I'm probably older than you in my planet years, so whatever. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. I mean, I'm with you on this, but we can just think of it as a favor for Lisa. I'm always down for a bit of a challenge. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. I can't believe we're getting baited by her so easily every time. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. What wit, Lise? All of the initial preparations have been made, so mm -mm -mm. let's head to the shop. Mm -mm -mm. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Lovely. I love discussions. Pop-up. What's the event called? Oh, no pop-up. Library rules. You must do all of Lise's work. Ah, oh, that explains it. Wait a minute. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought it was in here. Of course it's not in here. What are you, crazy? Wait, this, this is gonna look amazing. Imagine there's a, It's so far! Porthos, more like... Potion. Po Porsche? I don't know, I thought I could make a joke. This could totally have a teapot recipe for us. Ah, uh, okay. Dude, this place had all the commissions <sighs> this earlier. Is the shop. This is like the most dangerous spot. You know that I recorded my first Genshin Impact clip ever here? In this little water right here? Because I was chasing a fish, and I thought it was hilarious three years ago. <laughs> wow! Look at these potions. Like made a lot of <laughs> they look so already. good. Did you do this all by yourself? Nah, it's a bunch of people. I got the work for me. <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Mm-hmm. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Look at this Albedo thing. and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. Look at all the glowy potions. I love it. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. Is there, do you use an invisibility potion in the water? That duck just disappeared. I love how, how how these potions look. I live for this. Now with your help, it's like an additional weight oh, has been lifted off my it shoulders. Out. People always ask me what I want to be if I was a Genshin character. I would so be a potioner. The knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. Mm -hmm. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparation. I wonder what, okay, what kind of potions are we going to sell though? Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? Sure. 
Sure. This sounds like so much fun. Your alchemical journey has begun. Use your ingredients and a little inspiration to make some fresh new concoctions. Really? This is so, so cool. Look at this little area. I can't believe, look at this, these potions, they look so nice. I know I'm silly, and it's just like a glowing bottle, but I don't know, I must have experienced something as a young gamer. What is this? This is glowing magic soil. This is me after retirement. <laughs> crazy man <laughs> tries to cook potions. Wait, okay, give me one minute. Does Lise have anything else to say? All you need to do is add the ingredients into the cauldron, uh -huh. follow the steps provided, and you're good to go. You're saying everyone can cook? She let me cook. She did it. 145 efficiency. Yes. Boom! Oh, it's beautiful. Bare bones basic bottle. A very plain and unassuming bottle with a comparatively flat shape that seems suitable for storing a large volume of liquid within. Yeah, that's my only bottle I have for now. Boom, boom. Potion level two. Let's go, man. I'm adding it to the shop. Oh, looks like you finished your potion. I did. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Like, actually? Okay. Um, why don't you put your potion on that shelf over there? Deal? You really are talking to me like I'm a baby, though. Why don't you put the potion on the shelf? Oh, I know I just said it, and you talked to me again, so you must be confused. Yes, constitution. I love this word as well. It's beautiful. I love how this thing- I want this for the teapot. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? I'm making an alchemy thing at some point. End the current operation cycle. No! No, let me cook oh, more. you're finished already. Yeah. Guess it's time to start advertising the grand opening of our shop. I know. I'll tell the knights to start putting up the announcements right away. So I don't have to do the survey? I'm so happy. That's the word I was looking for earlier, survey. I have a, an event like this that's across here, oh, also in Mondstadt. Like everything is going well. It is. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Awesome. Not a bad start at all. That means they must not be total garbage. Now I was saying, there was an event like this where you had to manage the store as well. I have it all recorded too. I just haven't edited it yet. As for what potions you should brew next, yeah. we'll need to consult the news from the market. Okay. That means staying up to date on the latest news so we are surveying. to try and anticipate people's needs. Mm -hmm. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You have a long pointer finger. What the hell? Uh, that sounds kind of hard. No. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself Aww. to compile all the latest news on the market for you. Please. Thank you. Market news. Cycle suit of four. Good hunters come out with new dishes for adventurers who love battling. The owner of Mondstadt Flower Shop is looking to have their fresh flower grow more lushly and extend the time they are in bloom. Okay, so we need something for fighters and we need something what do you for think? Have any ideas on the kind flower of growth. you should sell next? Yes. Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Really? Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. This is my life. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. Yup. Right, this, is, this is what I want to do with my life. Started? I'm on it, dude. I've been trying. You keep talking to me. <laughs> okay, just talk more, actually. Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs. This is actually what I want to do with my life. It's a real shame it's not real. <laughs> Damn it. Can't harvest anything. That was it, Lise? Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. I clicked two buttons, but sure. Oh, uh, customer. I should probably mention, oh, a knight from not. the logistics company has arrived. Hello. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. Okay. And after that, Are you that lazy? your time to shine. Wait, what about you? Yeah. <laughs> That's actually what I said. Yeah. You know, the three of us? Yeah. What about your role in all this? I know. My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my <laughs> cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Well, she's doing market research for us. I guess that's something. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Please. Uh, I knew this would happen. Yep. Classic Mondstadt. Shake my head. Talk to Freda. Freda, I'm afraid of you. <laughs> I'm really not, actually. Logistics Company Knight. Hello. Greetings, honorary knight. <laughs> Stop. Greetings, my title. My name is Stop. Oh, I like I'm that you don't include time on. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and our loyal attendant. You're way too polite. Call me Nas. It'll be fine. Wow, Paimon's fame is really spreading across the land. What do you mean your fame, um, Paimon? One small correction, though. Paimon's her companion, not her attendant. She is already annoying, isn't she? Don't worry, you can ignore her in the future. <sighs> My apologies. No, no, no. 
I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. Stop, stop. It's just like something out of a novel. No, it's too much. You're practically legends. No, 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 no. I'm a bit jealous, actually. All right, you know what? You take Paimon's place. Learn how to fly and you're coming with. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure like one of those knights you read about in stories. Go for it. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. I mean... Of course, the grass is always greener on the other side. It's not all fun in games. I do risk my life pretty often. I bet. The knights and the what do you mean? are always running into all sorts of danger. Oh, that's what excites you, the thrill. Gotcha. Anyway, we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? I think so. My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. Nice. If there's Thanks, Jean. anything you need, just let me know. Oh, sell me some Your stuff. Luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Queen! Please! Take a look and see if anything catches your eye. You've caught my eye right now. Cultivate. Yep, I'm expanding. We're exp. Oh, oh, these are so cool. Ah, no, but stop. This is. I love this. Maybe I started this a bit late, huh? It looks like there is a whole lot to this event. Pamita thinking, confused. Pamita surprised, cooking. Pamita rich <laughs> with beautiful bottles. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, here we go. Back to the story. Oh my god, what? What a duo. What an unexpected duo. I love them. Eula and hey, Beta. What's up? Hey, it's been a million years. It's been a while. No, it hasn't. I've seen you lately. <laughs> oh, Beta and Eula. Wait, you two know each other? Claymore gang. Didn't expect to see you two together. <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but uh -huh. we hit it off right away. You love that booze. It was meant to be. Uh-huh. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. Right. She was here no in Longstead to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Is Dornman Port just the docks beside Mondstadt? Wow. You were taking the initiative and making friends? Uh-huh. Did I not hear that right? It was start for everything. <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, uh -huh. I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends Ooh. just yet. Hurting my feelings there. Being, uh, hospitable. Mm hmm As is expected of a knight. Sure, dude. Huh? Vengeance. I thought we were getting along See? Well. I knew she'd be You're hurt by too. Were just being polite? Yeah, I'm I'd, I'd be hurt too, dude. Oh, no. I, I didn't mean it like that. Uh-huh. I just thought that after my blunder earlier, what you she probably do? wouldn't want to be my friend. This music is blasting, dude. Come on. It was just a little misunderstanding. That's all. You're still beating yourself up about that? <laughs> Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. <laughs> That's beta for you. What happened? I do want I'm kind of intrigued now. Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, Is I that thought it? I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. You came here with the crux. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. There's no Things way, there's no like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. Queen shit, keep it up. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight. <laughs> My words fell on deaf ears. <laughs> she beat them so up. So I had to resort to uh, <laughs> a more... Hands on. Uh huh. Like getting them to calm down. Uh huh. I can't wait for Genshin to have a, a fighting event where you actually just punch. You know. Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and uh -huh. when she walked in. Oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. So you're more or less a criminal. I should probably take it from here. Okay. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port. No. So we decided to step up our patrols in the area. Did they put them in animals? Wait, that was the Lynette hangout. Never mind. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before. Uh huh. And they were sailors. Oh, not sailors, my the worst kind of people. Raised, <sighs> so I asked our captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. Which she didn't have. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit <laughs> on the person and told me to check with the port authorities myself. Wow. I insisted that she should accompany me there and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. That'd be a really fun combo to witness, though. Hey, you were you were just doing your duty. <laughs> it was my fault, really. It kind of is, based on what I've heard. I my tone, but I had a few too many. And uh -huh. Anyway, it all worked out. Ba -da -da -da. I took Eula back to my Spoken ship, music. showed her my documents, and that was that. Oh. Understanding resolved. That was, so you had the documents, too. I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Gotcha. Once we got to talking, uh, we really hit it off. No way. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. No. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. Uh-huh. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork. So Lovely. So we decided to go together. Love doing paperwork. Ah, I meant to say earlier, drop the captain and... 
Just call me Beta. <laughs> There's no need for formalities between friends. See, now it's official. Come on. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Pardon me for being anyway, so formal is as crazy. As for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters. And after discussing it with Beto, uh -huh. I decided to stop by and say hello. Because Beto knows me too. <laughs> That's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions. They're really good, up. Beto. They're really good. Since you came all this way, why don't you buy some to bring back with you? Uh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues and... They I just taste good. ...with everything I could need out on the ocean. But you can always need a little more. <sighs> Capitalism. <laughs> Do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Uh, we got one. It's called Baseball Bat. Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? Because me too. I. She's going to say warm milk. No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. I'm jealous. Not me. <laughs> it's just that uh, I have this friend. Oh. She doesn't lack for anything. Uh -huh. She eats right and drinks right. Uh -huh. She just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a Ning? case of affluenza or... If she just has too many things on her mind. It sounds like Ning to me. Wait, this friend you're talking about, <laughs> you must mean... Yep. She's no stranger to rare and precious <laughs> treasures. Uh-huh. I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. Aw, stop, and the music too. All right, we'll get started on that order for you right away. I'm putting extra Great. care into this. Thanks for the help. Guys, I get the cook for the queen. Onwards. Uh... We have work. Onwards, we have what work to do. You, Wait, Lula? that was Is your line. We can make for you? Yeah. Uh -hmm. I don't want to put too much on your plate. It's okay. It wouldn't be fair to ask you to make so many potions at once. Well, we'll have to wait until tomorrow because for some reason I'm limited to one a day. Beto came all this way. Her order should take priority. Okay, but any I'm ready if you want anything. I have on my end, I'll just submit to Lisa later. Aww. The same goes for anything the reconnaissance company needs as well. Sure. Considerate of other people. <laughs> oh, uh, you think so? Yeah. The knights have always looked after me so well. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's rubbed off on me a little. Mm -hmm. Or something. Or something. <clears throat> but I still have a lot to learn. Yeah. The next time things get heated, I should approach the situation in a more level headed way. Well, it worked out, didn't it? I think you're doing great. Everyone can see how hard you're trying. Exactly. Compared to when we first met, you're practicing. That's true. That's true, Eula. It's just like Tongue Death Bard once said. The You're winds growing. always change their course. Yep, that's what he sounds like. Thanks, you two. Your kindness <laughs> really means a lot. Of course. Very sweet. So, can I cook for Beto, then? How's the potion making going? Oh. Hope you didn't run into too much trouble. Uh, give me a minute. I didn't make it. <laughs> Take all the time you need. Just let me know when you're ready. Sure. She'll be falling asleep by the time I'm done cooking. <laughs> So, how do I make an, a potion that knocks someone out? Can Lise help me with this, maybe? <laughs> Ning, you will be the fittest person on Earth. <laughs> Simply put, Ning, I have filled the whole board for you. You will sleep so well. I kind of want to give her a heart bottle, though. Not tears of joy. Get a heart. You get a heart for me. Steadying. Only plus eight? Ning, I... You deserve better. Beto and Yula's order. I hope it works. I'm not sure. How's the potion making going? Hope you didn't run into too much trouble. I I just hope it does what you want. She'll love this. And it's in a heart. Honestly, come on. I made it specially for her. Even if it's worse, Perfect. the intention Looks is better. Looks like my gift is all set. Uh-huh. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Nice. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so <laughs> it's probably time I headed back. <laughs> Don't want to keep my crew waiting. Wow, so polite. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Yep. Oh, and... Good luck with your business. Thanks, Beta. On behalf Take care. Of the reconnaissance company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as and well. And how about on behalf of Eula? We don't talk about that. Many thanks. It's rare to receive the gifts so practical. Next time, I'll invite you and Eula to Liwa and bring that friend of mine. We'll treat you to a real feast. I, I hate that they're not open about it. It's like, you don't know. You don't know who it is. I'm like, I know. I think I know who it is. They don't want to tell us. Wait until two days later. Temporarily closed. No, let me cook. No, no, I'm lost without without my job. All right, two days later. This is so much fun. I love everything about this. Always have the aesthetic that I'm saying. This will be my job. If I go back to studying, I'm, I'm becoming a herbalist. There, I've said it. I'm doing it. I doubt at 1 a.m. is good enough. <laughs> Never mind, we're meeting up at 1 a.m. 
Trial period of the potion shop opens to a great success. Hello, Chief from Liyue. Matey. Look, there's those two things I always killed during that commission. Take care, good sir. We just keep getting swarmed with more and more customers. That should be positive, my Mita. work for so long, Paimon's starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. Business sure is booming. <laughs> Made quite the name for ourselves. We've got a lot of orders. Paimon's not sure we can fill them all on our own. Oh, stop. Here's this again. Oh, uh, please. <laughs> I get told this way too often. <laughs> Very smooth walking down the stairs, Lise. Taking a break, cuties? We have to. We are exploding. I was just looking at the sales data, mm -hmm. and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. Stop it. The seem to be Stop. Off the shelves. They are. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Mm-hmm. Oh. Are the orders piling up already? Yes. Having trouble keeping up? A little bit. <laughs> yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Yeah, it's maybe because you also only allow us to make one potion a day. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. Uh huh. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. Yeah, right. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. Uh huh. After observing even work, more efficient, I made note of several improvements we can oh, make to the brewing, cultivation, the and sales aspects of the business. You're upgrading my my sales finally. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Come on, she couldn't have just done nothing. You know this. I that's that's mean. That's really mean. Hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. <laughs> when it matters. <laughs> so how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Here we go. Well, I discussed things over with Freda, uh -huh. and the two of us came up with a plan. I'm all ears. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? I'm all fluffy ears. What? Yeah, I will go find her. Freda Kahlo. I did an exam on Freda Kahlo. Freda, <laughs> a long time ago. I feel like I might be able to sell more stuff from this cart, which excites me. Let's hear it, Freda. Traveler. Hello. I'm on. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? We heard you had some discussions with uh, Lise, and we wanted to hear the, the summary, I guess. Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Give, give me another shelf. Uh, yes. I've discussed that with her as well. I know. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Mm -hmm. Brewing. Cultivation and sales. Sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will no. make it much easier to run your business. Oh, yeah, but sales. Wow, that sounds just like what we need. <laughs> Let's give it a try, traveler. <laughs> this, this sounds ridiculous. Yeah, improved. I love they made an icon Looks for it. Like all the preparations needed for this upgrade have been Ooh. made. Please, Ooh. try it out. Upgrading. Guys, guys, I'm investing our hard earned money. So, how's that, Lise? Are you convinced of my upgrades, or you think I shouldn't have gone with the gamble ones? Sucrose! Greetings, Traveler Paimon and Lisa. Hey, Sucrose. Sucrose! It's been a while since the last time we saw you! I actually do think this has been a while. On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. Uh-huh. You're right. I was worried something might have gone wrong with the no, herbs. No, 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 no. But judging by the way people were talking, yeah. it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. I'm cooking! <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. <laughs> Even though we've been doing all of this without you. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects. Uh, was it her her recipes maybe that I've been following? You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. I mean, I dabbled in it before. I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, traveler. Sucrose, stop. I'm gonna blush. Where's the anti-blush potion? I wouldn't be surprised if she became a potion master one day. God, Lisa. Lisa, stop. Stop. I still got a long way to go, guys. I'm, ju I'm just a beginner. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, uh -huh. we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. No, 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 but then I'm going out of business. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? No, that's just Sucrose Albedo. Yep. Oh. It's something <laughs> she and Mr. Albedo talk about. <laughs> it is Albedo. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions. Uh-huh. But also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. But then, where is my potion selling business? Po there's be gonna be no potion seller anymore. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Uh huh. Perhaps one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Oh, you're saying it's still difficult. Okay, well, so far, all I've been doing is 
playing Tetris with ingredients, so <laughs> I figured everyone could do that. Hmm. Without the proper training, though, uh -huh. those potions could be dangerous to use. She raises a great point, Sucros. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, mm -hmm. we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making <gasps> process. Look at the top of the cauldron. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. Uh huh. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various <laughs> levels of potion making ability. Gotcha. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to uh -huh. their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. But there's gonna be so much illegal potion brewing. How do you not think of this? Let me guess. You would like us to also take part in this exam? Stop. I don't yes. need it. Oh, that's a Although it would. Guys, I'm being be forced to do an exam again. That we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. Okay, that's better. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. Fair enough. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take <laughs> it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. Fine. You will, of course, no need to be frown. compensated for your efforts. Uh, that's okay, I don't have to. <laughs> what a great idea. I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my uh, cutie's alchemy skills have improved. Alright, bring it on then. <laughs> Confidence is a good look on you, cutie. Thanks. Wonderful. Thanks. Then it's because I got the anti blush explain potion. A bit about how the exam works. Mm -hmm. The exam has four levels. Of course. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. Same as the game. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit. That satisfies the main objective. Easy. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Let's get it. I'm all for it. Paimon's like, Mora. <laughs> okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Come on, it's fine. I'm nervous all of a sudden. I don't care Just about do what the officialness. You do and you should be fine. I know. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. There's no way I don't pass. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourself. There is no way I do not pass. Oh, retakes are allowed. That's a Let's go. Yep. Just let me know when you're ready. Right now. Oh. Hmm. Your movements are quite practiced. I've been working on them. And your potion meets the requirements as well. Watching choreographies and all. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam. Uh huh. Thanks. Hmm. I was doing yeah, was motions in real life, but you can't see them. <laughs> Please get. You didn't do anything, Bobon. It was nothing. Wow. I really thought it would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making. But I'm the honorary knight. All right. Come on. I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Okay. Looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual But exam. you just said I'm like gifted in potion making. Maybe I'm not a good example. I'm gonna head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. See you, Sucros. Take care. Bling. Whoop. Deal. Benti, Bayona. Hmm. Traveler? Hey. Paimon? Looks like you're running a business. You're right. You're a very smart little cat, you know that? Oh, hey, Diona. And Tone Deaf Bard. What brings you to the shop? Drinks. Do you have any potions with alcohol, perhaps? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. <laughs> really? Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. I think that's just drunkards, and I think Diona thinks the same. Again with the nonsense. <laughs> Don't listen to him. We are actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Okay. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Cutsdale, so right. she asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. Gotcha. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Nice. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new <laughs> She's concoction pissed. than by helping you collect ingredients? <laughs> I kind of like, Diona lately has been growing on me. In the last few events she was in, she's been kind of cute. Well, that explains your enthusiasm then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. I know. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. Uh -huh. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. Slime condense it? The bard saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. Okay. So we split up for a while. That is a great idea. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough. He came back a little oh. while later with a oh. rare ingredient I've never used before. What is it? Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? I know. Bring it out so we can see. And it's just slime. Oh, Paimon eats that all the time. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragon Spine. Huh. A feather? <laughs> okay. It was once buried in the snow, 
and is still cold to the touch even now. Oh, it's like a reverse phoenix. That's what you got. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. No, you're crazy. Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Can I maybe throw it in the potion in the in the ground and it will make a bird feather tree? Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. That's why I offer what I just offered. With just the recipe testing alone. Oh no. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. Okay. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. <laughs> uh -huh. He's gonna start drinking. Yeah. The sooner you get to take oh. advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Wait, you sound why does she sound enthusiastic about it, but she looks unhappy? Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. What is the problem? Having more feathers? Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? Um, how about a different approach? You could try and infuse drinks with different effects? Huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? Uh-huh. Bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? No, just use magic. Paimon has it. Oh, Aha! Uh -huh. gets what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at one of the most popular <laughs> duos on the Monska alchemy scene right now. Yeah, the yeah. The hottest commodities in Tibet. She's right. She's right. That's us. Uh, but what do potions have to do with drinks? Yeah. You stumped me again. Sorry, I don't know. You can add them as an ingredient, of course. <laughs> I was gonna say a couple drops, but. All sorts of different effects. Uh -huh. For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. What? Wow. I never knew potions could do something like that. Um, uh, Paimon's example is a little bit of a stretch, but more reasonable effects are absolutely doable. <laughs> a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again. Uh huh. Can you make something like that? I could try, but you know, potions do wear off over time. Oh, that's right. Even if we could make one that discourages people from drinking, it would only last for a little bit before wearing off. And they'd go back to their drinking ways, except if they drink this often enough that they aren't addicted to it anymore. Uh, but then they become addicted to potions. Same here problem. I I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire <laughs> nope. It's okay. Got to take okay, more effort than that. Find some other ways to help. Uh huh. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Oh. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? Oh, they're gonna publicly state this lore? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. <laughs> I, I can totally see that. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but uh, the fact that it makes people drunk. We're about to make some 0%. Hmm, this may sound a little weird, but <laughs> I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious <laughs> alchemy craft. He's gonna chug everything then. That prevents people from getting intoxicated. He's going to chug every single bottle of wine that exists, just adding a little bit of anti-drunk matter in it. So you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Yeah, huh. I guess. That sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? Uh, if we just need to produce something that invigorates the mind, should be doable. Perfect. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You're bad from the saying that. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. <laughs> they'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. <laughs> it's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. Deal. I gotta say, I'm <laughs> starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. You're gonna chug it, bro. I know it already. Benti, 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 benti. Hmm. If alchemy has the power to transform matter, uh huh. I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine. I think you're supposed to be the one that does that. Wouldn't it be amazing if all the water in Cider Lake turned into <laughs> actual cider? No. <laughs> in that case, at least, no matter how short on more I am, I'd never be short on liquor. <laughs> how about I treat you to a drink instead? A fine alternative. <laughs> stop <laughs> hitting. Such a generous invitation. As long as you stop well, hitting. As soon as your work is finished. How does that sound? I'll be another. 15 really days so changed it all. 
just the mention of alcohol practically has you chomping at the bit. He goes, hey, hey. Well, it's not every day I get the chance to reunite with such dear friends. Uh huh. What's a reunion without a generous serving of wine? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you want again, Diana? Okay, Diana, I think I cooked something up for you that should work. So, how's the potion coming? Here it is. Um, perception and steadying. It seems right to me. Wow. I can't <laughs> the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine and I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away. Good luck, Chief. She runs. <laughs> Wait, don't leave without me. I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester. No, you drunken bard. Of course. <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject. <laughs> She's a treasure hoarder. And just another like test that, subject. Another problem solved. You're Looks right. like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. It's my work, it's my job. Oh, that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh, if I'm able to develop something <laughs> like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. Whoa. I mean, it's, it'd be alcohol-free. It'd be like twice. Amazing! Can't wait to make the sort of wine that'll make people more sober. I hope it works for you. 69% iconic. Thank you, game. Oh. Traveler. Hey, Sucrose. How has the potion making been going lately? It's been a grind, but it's been good. Sucrose, you're back! Uh huh. It's been going great. I should have known. You really do have a talent for alchemy. I, I'm, I'm trying. You, you know, I'm a great teacher. Her name starts with S and ends with Ukros. I'm sure this exam will Can't also be, anyone be a walk else. in the park for you. And then there's this dude called Sam Ukros. He's like, yep, it's me. <laughs> oh yeah, another exam. Ready to begin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Holy moly, look at the quality of this banger. It's a warm, relaxing, strengthening, and swiftening potion. Let me see. Uh-huh. Yep. Looks like your potion meets the requirements. Of course it did. You've passed once again. You believe in me, right, Sucrose? <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. Pretty good? I'm so glad I asked for your help. Please, take this for your trouble. Uh? What is it? Another enhancement thing? Ah, oh, just money? I don't care about money, bro. Wisdom and Charisma potion soon. Candace! In my capacity as the guardian of Aru Village and on behalf of the other guards and all who travel the desert, allow me to express my sincerest thanks. Not long ago, strange happenings were afoot here in the desert, with hordes of monsters roaming near Aru Village, harassing residents and travelers alike. It was our great fortune that the potions you created were critical in helping the travelers avoid danger and reach our village. After the guards drank them as well, they became even more va valiant in driving back the monsters. Soon, I shall lead them into an offensive and restore our village tranquility. Should you have time, please come to our village for a spell. I shall prepare our finest meats and drinks for you. Is that real, I wonder? Hello, everyone. What? Hello? Explorer D. Luke? On a little break, I mean, he is he has been fired for a little bit, so I guess he has some time, some spare time. Whoa, is that Master D. Luke? That's Master D. He's like, hey... Why are you trying to kill my business? <laughs> I thought we were friends. Why are you helping Diona kill the wine industry? I'm like, oh, right, about that, sorry. Oh, D. Luke, what's someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? <laughs> He's not busy, I told you, he got fired from the Exploration Geographic thing. It's really been a while. Fancy seeing you were Mr. D. Luke. Elzer told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that uh -huh. turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was commercial. a bit surprised by the level of success. It's so informative. He told me to come check it out. Who's Elzer again? Is that his manager? But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The, the Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. D look, stop it, you. I've been getting way too many compliments today. Uh, Elzer is the manager of Don Winery, right? Huh. Did he, did he, I he oh, he there he is. This is a manager. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Dude, everyone talking about it. That cannibal in the castle there. Wait, are we that famous already? What do you mean? We are selling things to people in Sumeru Desert! <laughs> no need to sound so surprised. You know her, she loves acting humble. The winery keeps us all very busy. Uh-huh. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he yeah. thinks we are faced with a real threat. <laughs> a threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines. That's right. And even receive orders from all around Tevat. Yeah, that's right. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. Yeah, but I'm not, dude, so don't worry about it. 
<laughs> I'm talking what? like I'm so over it. Rival? <laughs> We're coming for your business, D Luke. Ooh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Yes, please. Looks like you really want to go toe to toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. <laughs> There's Are one you just wine merchant. to see whose business prowess would come out on top. Ours? It's not a question. Ours would. I just don't care enough. Hmm. A competition with the traveler. No. That's no, no, no. Suggestion. I'm not helping you out. You're extremely knowledgeable and well traveled. You'd hope so if, if my name is Traveler. I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Uh huh. Probably even some I've never faced before. Uh huh. But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. You are a cuter. Uh, two industries aren't cuter? exactly a fighting cutie. for the same market space. Uh huh. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good. For the okay. winery business. Is it now? Good for your business. Paimon's lost. You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? Well, if I get people interested in drinks from Mondstadt, they'll probably try out other drinks from Mondstadt. <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. I get it. Don't worry about it. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. Mm -hmm. In order to have free time, though, you have you to have to in your free early. time. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. Uh-huh. That's exactly right. So make a potion that makes them rich. Your potions <laughs> and have allow time. people to work more efficiently. <laughs> As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. Mm -hmm. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. I'm drinking the potion to get over your bullshit right now. It's not working very well. Oh, you know, layers. I'm very well versed in them. It's like onions and oh. Guess this means we're in the more making business <laughs> together then. Uh huh. Hey, Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Please check out our offerings, dear partner. If you want something, just name it. We'll make it. Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Uh huh. Well, this Since music is offered, driving me nuts. Please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while oh. also improving their attention to detail. I see. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? Yeah. That almost sounds a little contradictory. No, Lee, don't worry. It, listen, I know you've not been in the alchemy business for that long. I can get this done. Don't worry about it. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, Duke, <laughs> how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, you see, when I go to big expositions where they sell art, I really want to see every little detail on the painting. But at the same time, my so social anxiety kicks in big time, and I don't want that. Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. Yeah. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. So everyone's important for your industry. Cool. Oh yeah, because they drink themselves to sleep. That's this is a great moral After deal. After a period of high stress, like a busy work day, <laughs> it can take a while for people to fully decompress. Uh huh. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted yeah. that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. Felt. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure. Like from drinking wine. They usually enjoy. <laughs> like. <laughs> Relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. All right. <sighs> you can say that again. Play the sweet music, the evening music. Chop chop. Paimon's definitely been there before. Sometimes after a really long day. Oh, it's supposed to be, be emotional. So tired, but she just can't relax. So Not bad. Even so her annoying. Snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. That sucks. Oh, my poor little kids. <laughs> Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. I know. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Oh, Once this upcoming is tea over, party. I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. Hexen Circle? Hexen Circle or? Tea party? Dude, Lisa's definitely some part of the Hexen Circle. I don't even care what you tell me. She knows about it. I think Lisa's stronger well, than them all. you need us to make a potion that decreases tension <laughs> yes. but increases attention. Very so nicely said, Paimon. So that enjoy the finer things in life no matter how busy or stressed they are. Uh-huh. I think it was well worded for you, Paimon. Exactly. Wine is meant to be savored. Uh huh. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics <laughs> is a loss, not just for the winemaker, 
Sort of why me. As well. He's like, I'm an artist. <laughs> By the way, I'm an artist. I do sell I just sell wine. But it is it is artistic to, you know, make the subtle notes in your wine. If we can increase the alertness this of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, uh -huh. but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, yes. then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Excellently put, Master Dilok. I see the vision now. Wow. Quest. No. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. Mm-hmm. We should get potion to thinking maker. then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. Easy, easy going. Don't worry about it. Master Diluc, I put on the lights for you. You were standing in the dark. I didn't like that for you, man. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? I actually haven't. <laughs> Not to worry. I know you're a trustworthy partner. Thanks. With such individuals. I can be patient for as long as you need. Ah, people are so nice and kind and and, and patient today. How's Dear look, I've ruined coming? your potion. Have you finished? Yeah, I did it wrong. Here you go. Have this one. We're finished with the potion, Master Dear look. Please give it a try. <laughs> he doesn't like it. I thought you might need more time. I kind of did. It looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. It's kind of bad, Dear look. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> is even more apparent than I imagined. Oh, wow, you need something else then. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. Do you like I messed up though? On behalf I feel of bad. Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk no, no, purchase no, no. order for this potion. No, no, no. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. <laughs> Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. Do you look, I gave you something that wasn't right. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Uh huh. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. Gotcha. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself. Wow. Interesting. Kind of smart. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. For marketing. Yeah. Looks like our new products say it. Well, we've just secured a huge order from Dawn Winery. Applause, everybody. My potion was enough to impress Master D. Luke. And it was and a missed one? Sure regular customers are going to be even more amazed. <laughs> I know. There's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. Yep. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. It might be very negative, and then uh, I'll shut down my store. In any case, it's a pop up it's anyway. Been a pleasure working with you. <laughs> yep. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope so for you too, Chief. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in for both our sakes. Right. I appreciate that, but I don't think it'll be here in. One day in a few hours. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel Share to see your masterpiece in action. Do you think this actually works? Well, sure. I'm gonna check that out. Paimon, can't wait. We'll see you next time, Master Diluc. See you, Master Diluc. Runs away. <laughs> Runs away with a horse run, you know? <laughs> to help those who are exhausted to concentrate and help those racked with nerves to relax, your potions have extremely considerable potential, indeed. But also, I've been... Freaking scammed some dudes reselling my stuff at 5 a.m. I'm ready. I'm ready now. Overtime business could use to grow and expand your increasing success means Hello. Oh, oh. the merchant is here. Uh I'm <laughs> not sure they're from my <laughs> Are you the reseller? Let's I've been check it out. <laughs> I've been flaming. <laughs> Maybe it's her. Hello there. Atife. Yeah, sounds about right. And uh looks about right too. Traveling merchant. Hello. Very pretty Hello NPC. There. Hi. The name's Atufe. Mm -hmm. I'm a traveling merchant from Sydney. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great to meet you. Uh, so I may have been actually flaming you. To be fair, it might have been deserved. Except if there's a license. Has this been discussed with anyone? Whoa, you made quite the journey. Her backpack is this beautiful. Of our humble shop has already spread to all four corners of Tibet. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you. Nah, Paimon, our hard work is paying off. <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. Uh-huh. In fact... Many well-informed merchants have heard word of your potion selling endeavor. I, I've gotten, I've gotten word of that. But <laughs> most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. Unlike you. If you ask me, though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. <laughs> That's how you make the big mora. <laughs> Although the general public opportunistic still doesn't know much as about heck. Ooh, new bottles. 
With a little effort and marketing on your side, uh -huh. you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. I know. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. Keep on coming. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. Okay, stop. <laughs> With that kind of profit, you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. Lady, I'm here to help people, not to make Mora. Tenfold? Are you serious? By me, that, do not get distracted. <laughs> As long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. Man, this is how you're being taken advantage of. of. Nice. Mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. No, <laughs> no, no. With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain Dori. other more obsessed merchant. Mm -hmm. Wait, also from Sumeru. Say you were from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Uh huh. Ever met Dori? Uh huh. Oh, wait. You mean Lord Songama Bay? <laughs> one of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? Yeah. That? Dory? You know her? Yeah, she's a friend of mine, I guess. I'll, I'll say this to Humble Flex, even though uh, we think she's more like someone we know a little bit. Oh, wow. Lord Songama Bay is one of my biggest <laughs> idols. Whoa. Her business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. Uh huh. I was even lucky enough to visit the palace of Alcazarzare once. What? It truly is a magnificent sight. Alcazarzare? One day, I hope to be just like her. Small and purple haired? More Mora than I can count. <laughs> Stop. Uh, looks like we lost her. She was lost from the start. Should Paimon snap her out of it? Uh, no, no, no. We wish you all the best. Let's, let's get back to business. <laughs> You're right. I seem to have strayed off topic. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Back to where we were. Then. At least. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big mora together. Uh huh. The idea is actually pretty simple. Uh huh. You produce the potions. Yeah. Provide me with a regular supply. Yeah. And I'll help you sell them across to Vat. Like you already have been doing. If that sounds good to you. Cheeky. Then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. Sure. Oh, another hey, exam. It's been a while, hasn't it? I guess so. Oh, you're back. Wait. That must mean there's a new exam. Yup. Yep. It's time for the advanced exam. This one will be harder than previous exams. Don't worry, Sucrose. I'm sure you'll do just fine. There's one more after this too. I'll do my best. If we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing. No, the first one is embarrassing. This one's fun don't if you Don't worry lose. too much about that. Lots of things in life require a couple of tries before you get it right. True. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, mm -hmm. all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. Yep. For example, <laughs> when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, yeah, you became a whopper flower. I froze all the equipment in the lab. Uh huh. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. That's cool though. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Uh oh. Another time. I let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, several nights passing by I thought the lab had caught fire. Uh-oh. Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. Well, that's fair enough with the scale of the stuff you're on about. In order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. No, I'm totally, I'm totally with you on that. <laughs> Fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. Damn. You're absolutely right. Hey. Play the silly clown music. Come on. People. <laughs> it's just my experience talking. Uh huh. I have spent a lot of time doing research in the lab, after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. Sure. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Get me in. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm so over it. The other one took so much longer to make, Sucrose. You don't understand. I put so much heart and soul into it, and you just shat on it. Wow. You even breezed through the advanced exam. Give me the ultimate one already. Ever thought about helping out around the lab? No. Drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. What do you say, Traveler? Uh, not sure we're quite ready for that yet, but we can certainly help out. If we work together... I'm sure we can make something super amazing. I'm sure too. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Imagine a way to keep your sunsetias cold after they're picked? <laughs> well, in the past, Anyone remember that? my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. Uh huh. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. Uh huh. So, I started thinking. 
What if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Right. Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? Be kind of OP. A memory enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. I think that's kind of OP. I don't think we want to do that. Alternatively, a strength enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an abyss mage all on her own. Sure, he can. Didn't know you could make potions like that. <laughs> Sounds awesome. That's what she said. Well, it's certainly theoretically possible. Yeah, theoretically. Okay, cool. Alchemy Move on. In itself, a way to explore the unknown. Uh huh. So true. It's a discipline with endless potential. Yep. In fact, like astrology. Current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Imagine. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. Yep. And with alchemy. There are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Yep. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. Yep. Uh, Paimon didn't quite catch all that. Allergies and stuff. <laughs> my bad. We can talk about the details some other time. Sure. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. I would if I could. Sweet! But Watch you're not there. World. With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guy in Tibet in no time! Alright, time to calm down, Paimita. Well, I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. Not really. I'd take it right now if I could. Boom! Uh, lots of money. Lots of money for me. <laughs> Even kids are hanging out about a potion. And it's, it's starting to become bad, guys. Oh, what? Oh, so you're the one the animal the fam shop I've heard so much about <laughs> Hello. When it comes to fulfilling requests I heard the customer's wish is practically your command you sound so over it get out of Goro where did you come from Inazuma probably ever thought of that oh and Kira is here too <laughs> cute what are you guys doing in Mindset? didn't expect to see you here what a pleasant surprise <laughs> Comania Express operates all across to that so I'm always on the road of course you are our cute kitty paw move I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. Uh huh. General Goro, on the other hand, seems to still be getting the lay of the land. Uh huh. He got lost not too far from uh, here. Hello, General? <clears throat> well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a wow. foreign territory. But Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. Really? I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. So, what you're saying is. You don't. You're not even the general. Whatever. I've basically had to perform initial process info. in the middle of a formal operation. <laughs> not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> <laughs> Affirmative, General. Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission outset. Over and out. <laughs> uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. But... I hired you as a consultant. Oh. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. True. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? <laughs> In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Really? Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. I think that's going to be a success. Our future business is counting on you. All right, so we're third wheeling really hard right now. Back to Paimon's question, though. You yeah. still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Yeah, Koko needs a potion to stay awake. Ah, uh, yes. Come on, now. It's a funny story, actually. I love funny stories. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Well, you need her. Basically, this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. Uh -huh. So, we decided to send teams across to that to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. Well, potions aren't going to make your boat go faster, Chief. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. Mysterious! So, we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. So, you're just curious. Could have just said that. Turns out it was the right choice. Hey, what's mysterious about it? Well, Paimon's got to say, you practically hit the jackpot <laughs> by coming here. We've got stuff you can't find anywhere. We'll make you something super special. Something that will make your tail super soft, but also electric to the touch if a fox touches it. You know what I mean? We'll make sure you leave with something funny useful. Oh, more customers from abroad. Yep. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. That's right. You really do have friends all over to that. Stop trying to farm off my fame. <laughs> hmm. Looking at your two friends here, 
I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. <laughs> you know what? I should introduce you sometime. True. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. Just go back to their primal instincts, four legs. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both join me and my cuties for afternoon tea? Really? I'll even bring my student along. Wow. Afternoon tea? Sounds great. <laughs> I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. Yeah. Thanks for the invitation. That's pretty sweet. Uh, something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Wait, no. Why does this feel so familiar? No, stop. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Lise is uh, not traveler, teasing like that. Make some introductions? Lise different teasing. This is the Supreme Guardian Mage of Tomes and Spells. She also makes a mean cup of tea. G Guardian Mage? Yep. Wow. What an impressive <laughs> title. Is it a position similar to that of a Gucci? It's way stronger than that, believe me. Wait, could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high-ranking as Her Excellency? Yes. Like Lady Sangonomiya herself? Higher, even. The Honorary Knight of Mondstadt. Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack. <laughs> Come on, I'm teasing. They did the cool thing, though. I liked how they faded in Kokomi and, and Yai. Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just, uh, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works <laughs> as the librarian here in Mondstadt. And uh -huh. she's also the person in charge Shop. She's a ledge. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. Yeah. And this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman with Komini <laughs> Express. If you want to, if you want to knock him out though, touch his tail one time. Kirara. Hmm. The name sounds familiar. Oh. Ah, oh, the collection of that's, books from Inazuma nice. that I have in the library. You were the one who delivered them, yes? What a helpful little gem you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. Wow. Plug. Self-plug. As for my cutie's other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Gorita. Yeah, Gorita. I seem what was to it again? More than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. Yeah, and how you write under another name. Let me guess. Your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Oh my god, you're right. She is smart, super mage. Exactly. <laughs> Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. Great. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. N not great. What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. Hey, I got one of those cooked up for you already, I think. Okay, I could definitely use a potion like that as well. <laughs> when I'm Who couldn't? Long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that rugged terrain. I believe Not it. Not to mention the damage it does to my paws. As <laughs> she shows her one human part of body. My cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. Of course. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. Of course, we got this. Yep, leave it to us. I'm on it. Well, while you two hop to it, I'm gonna find an idle knight to mm -hmm. deliver a letter to my little wolf cub <laughs> and ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. All right. <laughs> Wonder who this idle knight's gonna be. These are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs. We'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. Okay. That sounds like it's the end. Is this the last task? <laughs> afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake. Oh, wonder what that'll be like. Awesome. Oh, I can't wait to find out. It will be great. Trust. I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. Yeah, indirectly by letting someone else do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna chat with them because it's more easy. He just tells you what he wants. I've told you this before. Oh. That if you want to pass through the forest undetected, oh. you're gonna want to wet your tails. <laughs> wet fur doesn't get snagged on branches and twigs as easily as dry fur. You'll be able to slip on by, and your enemies will be none the wiser. So smart. Uh, thanks for this advice. Nuh-uh. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I can't stand my tails wet. It's, you got I very different off, tails. Uh, tying them in a knot or something. <laughs> or better yet, improving my fighting skills so that I don't have to sneak by them in the first place. That's also a good point. But look, you use very fluffy tail. You got n oh, normal tail. How's the potion coming? Uh, I'm just going to act like I'm giving it strength, efficacy, or the displays endurance. Okay, strength and endurance. Gotcha. Sorry, give me a minute. I'll be back with it in a second. What do you say when I cancel it? Getting max value for the voice lines. Well, I'm rooting for you. I've seen how capable you are. <laughs> Thanks. No way a few alchemical roadblocks can stand in your way. No, well, yeah, exactly. I'm glad you think so too, dude. All right, let me cook. You'll love this. Look at this beaut I made for you. He's looking at it. He loves it. Girl, Kirara, your potion is now ready. 
Why don't you give it a try? Give it a try. Wonderful. You two sure work fast. Ah, right, listen, I'm experienced. I've been doing this for two weeks. Come on. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he putting it on his tail? Hmm, feels great. <laughs> wow, my right shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much. But uh -huh. A few drops of your potion, and the pain is completely gone. Did you did you put it on your shoulder? You're supposed to drink it, no? The, the pain from walking on all that rough terrain. <laughs> it's like it was never there. Huge. I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. Sorry. With Sorry, this I my know. arsenal. I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Okay, don't push it now, Chief. Looks like we've got another hit on our hands. Yes. We can add the people of Watatsumi Island and the workers at Komania Express to our list of happy customers. Another perfect result. Look at this pose. Well done, me. Wow, what a flex. All right. Well, now that our work is out of the way, there's nothing standing really? between us and that afternoon tea we were promised. Okay. Oh, perfect. Lisa's here. Lise. What's up, Lise? I wonder what you've... Uh, really? I'm sorry to report my little wolf cub oh, appears to be busy. Come on. I sent someone to fetch him in Wolvendung, but he wasn't there. No. It's such a shame he's going to miss the opportunity to meet some fellow furry aired companions. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet in the future. In fact, the next time I see him, I'll be sure to tell him about the two of you. <laughs> It'll give him some. That's good. To look future to. event. Future event. The animal event. I will probably be invited too. As I am an animal. <laughs> you know, we never got a pop up for the start of this. Lisa sets out a table of exquisite snacks and delectable tea. While Kirara appears to enjoy her meal immensely, Goro seems a bit nervous. His mannerisms bear a striking resemblance to something, quite I think. A sizable order. Thank you for your patronage, my Inazuma friends. Aww. If feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider re upping your supply <laughs> when the time comes. <laughs> if making the journey proves too troublesome, we can always ship them to you. Okay. Of course! I have a feeling this super powerful alchemical this feels really wrong. could be a game changer for the entire delivery industry. It feels like we're selling drugs. Absolutely. I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Anyway, we should head out. Until next time, Traveler and Paimon. Take care. Oh, and it was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Guardian Mage. <laughs> She's gonna laugh at that, Bye, though. Bye, She's like, what did you tell this guy? <laughs> Why did you dare this, tell this poor, poor boy? Uh. Hmm. The next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. Okay. The cute oh, just running away. Ecstasy and the honorable guardian mage is sure to be a momentous occasion. He's also running. Holy, they're so excited. Oh, seems like that made-up title really had an impression on me. <laughs> Lisa it's loves it though. All sorts of funny ideas. Uh huh. What a banger. Thank you so much. The assistance you rendered during both Watasumi or to both Watasumi and Konomiya was incredibly important. No problem. 180k. Lise, what the hell? He just paid us 180k. What do you even do? Sales figures looking good. Thanks. Great job, cuties. Jeans asked for support products with additional funds. Oh, there's the 400k I was asking for. You can use run the potion shop. Thanks for your hard work. Your earnings surpass wow. expectations. I to hand it to you, cuties. Uh huh. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much more in such a short amount of time. <sighs> Dude. AR60 diff, man. <laughs> You're practically geniuses when it comes to business. Stop, stop. It's all thanks to your help. <laughs> Always so humble. It's true, though. Although, with results this impressive, I would say you could stand to take a bit more credit. No, no, no. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take double the amount of vacation without a care in the world. Double of infinite is infinite still. With all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough sales data for our research. <laughs> the music can stop, you so bro. Much for all your help. No problem, Lise. Of course. If I love this cauldron. It looks so good. To run the shop, you'd make me a very happy Lisa. What's gonna happen though? Where is this gonna move to eventually? In either case, oh. I should already have more than enough to report oh. back to Jean with. Grandmaster Jean just bumped into that kid. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Hey, Jean, it's actually been forever. <laughs> oh, you're I kind of missed her, you know. I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. <laughs> no need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly good understanding of the situation. What? That we're absolutely slaying? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you've troubled the traveler to help you once again. What do you think is a success, eh? Okay, now I'm, now I'm acting arrogant instead. <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, baby, 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 simply a must-have. Thanks. Especially if we want a good result. Stop, stop. Look that is too much. Look at the success of the shop. 
I could have never produced that kind of result. There's a lot of people, like actually a lot of people here. And look at the potions looking beautiful. Well, I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. Uh-huh. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but mm -hmm. work kept getting in the way and I simply yeah, right. couldn't find the time. Great excuses. I just knew I had to come thank you in person. We should thank you as well for all the support. It was a group effort. It's truly reassuring to have such outstanding members among our ranks. Even though it's just honorary or whatever. <sighs> Once this is all over, I do believe Make me an official I'm already. for a vacation. <laughs> I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all this <laughs> My ass. Of course. Thank you for all your hard work. How about me, Jean? You're like, well, you don't even work for me. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. Right. I forget that sometimes with the amount of errands you make me do. Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time, I was worried you might be bored. So I thought I'd give you an opportunity to truly make use of your talents. <laughs> There's no need anymore, Jean. Thank you. Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. No. It wasn't that bad. After all, it's not like I was in it alone. All the help from the knights and the traveler really helped to lessen the load. <laughs> Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's nice to relive these days every once in a while. I actually believe that. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, ventriloquist. Thank you again for all your help, traveler. I'm glad to Please hear that. Please take this as your compensation. Oh, uh, open eyes? <laughs> I'm so not interested, it seems. What is it? Speaking of compensation, what is it? I've also prepared a little memento for you. Please. Here, I hope you like it. What is it? Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. I just like the art. Oh. Felix Felicium, peculiar potion Lisa concocted for you that seems to shine with a golden sheen. It is said to bring the user good luck, ensuring all their every endeavor will succeed until the effects wear off. Yo, sip that when I'm about to pull next patch. <laughs> Uh, as the ingredients required are exceedingly rare and the brewing process devilishly complex, only a few have succeeded in concocting it. Lisa! 68! Oh no, I need a bonus ingredient one more time. Harvest? No! No, I got two! I got two bonus! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, I want I want Sucrose to come gank me one more time. Oh, Jean's just chilling here now. Public reception towards alchemical potions has been much more favorable than expected. Nice. If things continue like this, the potions industry could end up becoming a new revenue stream for the entire region of Mondstadt. Nice. We've got more than enough time to make big plans for the future. Yep. Right now, we should focus on the hard-earned success we've been able to achieve so far. <laughs> How about we find a time to celebrate together? Uh-huh. Oh, even us? Oh, hell yeah. Uh-huh. Of course. Once I've made the preparations, you'll be the first to know. Oh, come on. I'll even do you the honor of extending your invitation in person. Wow. Okay. I'm really excited about this. They're really... You certainly deserve to relax after all your hard work. They're really making it sound like they're actually going to invite us soon. Like there's going to be an event or something. Flying off the shelves. Yes. Ah, <laughs> here we go. This is what I wanted to do still. Yes. What do you mean already? What do you mean? Can't keep up with myself. In fact, according to the way Mr. Albedo designed the exams, uh oh, passing the expert level would mean you're now qualified to mentor other people. Come on then. start to teach other people. Come on then. totally going to start a class. The light is messing up. How much should Paimon charge per student? Stop. Well, all Paimon knows right now is that for homework, her students are going to have to use alchemy to no, make all no, sorts no, of tasty no, treats. No, 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 no. <laughs> Paimon will be sure to give them lots of feedback. Right. On their alchemy skills, of course. Paimon, I'm not even going to say it. Paimon. I'm sure this one will go just as well as the others. <laughs> you look over it. I'm ready to begin whenever you are. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Sucrose. All right, let's do it. Tell me, Sucrose. Have I been scammed or is right. it winnable? Let me give your potion a try. Yep. The effect looks good. The quality of your potion is quite high as well. <laughs> she was in shock. Your talent in this discipline is truly remarkable. But not enough to be a teacher. So, we passed? Can we teach alchemy now? Nope. 
What an amazing achievement, cuties. Really? Oh, congratulations. It actually counted. Thank you, Lise. I guess we learned a thing or two about potion making, but uh, we're still by no means experts when it comes to everything else. Now is not the time to be humble. You're right. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. Uh-huh. That's an impressive achievement, no Thanks. matter how you look at it. I appreciate that. Exactly. I was also really surprised at how quickly you picked it up. Mm-hmm. I thought it would have taken way more time. Nah. Anyway, thank you so much for your help. Your participation has allowed me to collect some very valuable data. Thanks. With everything or no problem, worked, I mean. <laughs> you should be able to offer the official exam soon. Uh-huh. This is sure to be a critical moment in the development of the alchemical potions industry. I like that. I really like Mondstadt still, guys. I like I like a lot of regions a lot still. Hi, Mom feels like she just took part in something super important. I know. Of course. You two are practically pioneers. No. I have to accept to the compliment. To the yes, alchemy, indeed. As impressive as a biologist discovering a new species. Uh huh. Anyway, Great. That's a bit. That's a bit over the top, maybe. The I've collected. Sure. Traveler, Paimon, thanks again for your participation. Of course. If you have some free time, please stop by the lab. We'll do. We'll do. And that's that. Citrina simulated. Yes, a lot of money for me. I think that's it. I think we've beaten it completely. That was the last bit of lore there was to it. I think we bought everything everywhere. I'm not sure how to check, <laughs> really. Uh, that was cool. That was really cool. I love the place. I love everything about this. And I'm a fan. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love Mondstadt. And I, I've always said I'm really into the whole mage thing and, and potion making thing. They're like two of my favorites. So this was really right down my alley and the management stuff you know what they do it really well actually at hoyo i think personally so i'm a big fan that's it thanks for watching have a wonderful day night week whatever and uh i'll see you soon lots of love bye bye